below their friends. A lot of people had asked me, why do you expose yourself to insult and ridicule for this position you have taken? In all my life, in all my struggle, I had never considered harm, pain, insult, and abuse for my person as something that is important to me. If it is, I will not risk my life in the struggle for the emancipation of our people. If it is, I will not go to prison. I will not go through terrible times because of this struggle. It's because I do not believe that insults, imprisonment, and even death are something that I should consider because of this struggle. Because they are necessary dividends of this struggle. It's either I win or I die. There is no other option. It's either victory or death. In my 55 years in this world, I had gone through this path without looking back. We are at a very, very critical stage in the life of our struggle. If we take the wrong step, we'll take this struggle many, many years backward. My dear brothers and sisters, there is every need for our people to come out and vote. Every need for our people to come out and vote. The reason is that if we do not vote, we will allow, by our acts of commission and omission, allow General Muhammad Buhari to come back. General Muhammad Buhari represent the worst of the worst of the worst of our enemies. He has come out openly to say that he will crush us. Biafra will never be realized in his lifetime. He did not end there. He put his words into action. Crocodile smile, Operation Python dance, they killed and maimed and destroyed our properties. Majority of our people were not harmed, they were mowed down. They did not look back. He did not look back. To him, killing our people means nothing. Our brothers, sisters, we have the power to stop Buhari. By going to cast our vote with our PVC, if you don't have the PVC, you can go to the polls and defend our vulnerable fathers, mothers, sisters, to defend them and protect the vote and make sure they cast their vote against this man and kick him out. We cannot carry out our struggle in isolation to others. We must learn from the history of other struggles. Just a few months ago, our fellow people in Catalan who are struggling to throw off the yoke of Spanish colonialism went out to vote in both the local and national Spanish election. That led to the fall of the Spanish Prime Minister who was anti-Catalan independence. They scored a point the Spanish Prime Minister, who was anti-Catalan independent, was booted out of power by the votes of the people of Catalan and all lovers of freedom in Spain. The people of Scotland, the Scots, 
had been voting in referendum for their independent and severance from Britain. That has not stopped them from voting in both British national election and Scottish local election. It has not debarred them from their agitation to, for independence of Scotland. The people of Quebec have been voting in all elections to be free and separate from the English-speaking Canadians. That has not stopped them from holding two referenda. The people of Palestine. Uh, Palestine, the Palestinian in occupied Palestine in Israel, in northern Israel, in Jerusalem, in Tel Aviv, in Haifa, they've been voting in all elections. They have their members in parliament. They control local council. That has not stopped them from demanding for the independence and the restoration of their rights as Palestinians in occupied Israel. So for, for somebody to tell us that if we vote, if we vote, that will mean that we have rejected our independence. It is not true. We refuse to vote in Anambra State. What happened in Anambra State? A governor had been in Anambra State for more than one year. This governor, Ibano, is spending, according to reports, three billion in support of our arch enemy, Muhammad Buhari, to continue in power. If at that time we have taken people who have sympathy for our struggle, who believe in the independence of Biafra, to make them contest the election, in Anambra State, that the three billion would have channeled to our struggle for independence. It will not be given to our enemy. So, brothers and sisters, the best way for us is for us to vote in this election, to vote and make sure that we take Muhammad Buhari out of Asorok. This is a sign. Vote hard Buhari today. Our PVC is a very powerful tool in our hand, and we can do it. Let's do it together. Thanks. Thanks.